I'm not entirely sure how Kirito dual wielded, you know, last episode, but instead of saying Starburst Stream and unlocking well, actually utilizing his unique skill, dual wield that only he has. Back in Einkart, you know. Einkart. In Alfheim Online, did he just like like the whole sequence was smoke bomb, and then he went to Sugu, and then he like flipped her ass for Sugu Gat service, and then he took the sword. And it's like, did no one ever think about like you like, picking up another fucking sword in the other hand? And then he started dual wielding. And then this dude named Eugene, like I shit you not, this dude named himself Eugene. That is crazy to me. Well, then again, maybe he's a Westaboo, right? Because these are all Japanese people playing this game, I think. And maybe, you know, he, he saw some like Western shows and he saw the name Eugene. So it's like, you know, it's, it's like an American guy calling himself like Ken Sama or some shit, you know? So he's like, hmm, my name shall be Eugene. Now, no disrespect to anyone named Eugene that's watching this, but think about it. You have one time to fucking role play in a game and this dude picks the name Eugene. I thought that shit was funny. Now, what are we actually doing? We have like an alliance, right? The Salamanders also acknowledge us. We have the alliance between the sylphs and the cat people, and they're all gonna help somehow to climb the world tree, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Pretty village. What is today's episode? Are we climbing the fucking tree? Or are we gonna do more random, you know, incest bait? Alright, the world tree, let's go! Wow, make a wish, Leaf. Not the maintenance! No! Okay. <sighs> this is actually a huge setback because everything matters, right? This maintenance is up for like fucking, what, 12, 13 fucking hours, bro? And like, what we have like fucking one week before fucking Komoto's girlfriend gets married. <sighs> So, if it's a maintenance episode, we're just gonna be fucking around on outside the game? Wow, a dirt cheap inn! Amazing! How does this work? So we have to log out. Because, like, what if you stayed in? I'm sure the game would, like, boot your consciousness now, right? If you're going through server, server maintenance, like, all the players, like, you're not allowed to be here. So, you, But what about Asuna? The, ga the, uh, the devs can selectively pick who to kick out? Because, like, Asuna's just not going to get kicked out. But it's like, Asuna's just allowed to stay. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to think about, like, what would happen to her, you know? The truth behind Arfahim Online. Asuna escaped, right? She took out the fucking passcode, she memorized it, but how far is she gonna get? Why doesn't she just die in the game? Just jump. What's gonna happen to you? Where, where, where would she respawn? Because, like, why take this path? Just jump, die to fall damage, and then fucking <laughs> just fucking respawn out of a village nearby. I, I don't know. Why the fuck would it respond to you? The fuck? Why Asuna specifically? Did it, that just works on her? Uh, this seems really important. This seems like super important. Uh, you sure you should go in there? Sugu. It's so cold and you're always wearing those. There's snow on the fucking ground. Are you not cold at all, Sugu? Alright, yeah, if you stayed up till 4 in the fucking morning playing games with my online boyfriend, you wouldn't understand, big bro. Yeah, you were gaming till the same time, bro. Just a prank, bro. <laughs> okay, Asuna Toes, we're back to Asuna in the game. Where the fuck are we? This is Oberon's secret fucking lab? Map of the game. Console to log. That's another thing! 
I console to log out. She doesn't have the menu system, right? They can just go. Sorry, not this hand. This hand, the other game, right? Boom, and then log out. But she just doesn't have access to that console because Oberon detached the console from her, I guess. That's kind of interesting. She can't die. And we're back. Green tea, shaved ice with red bean and raspberry cream. Oh my fucking gosh, she's got some exquisite taste. Green bean, uh, sorry, red bean, shaved ice. Fantastic. Are they actually gonna fucking make a joke in the abridged version where it's like, Asuna can't open the fucking menu so she can't escape Oberon? Could you imagine? Wait, no, she figured out how to open the menu in, in, in the earlier versions of it. No, maybe the, because it's Alfheim online, right? Maybe it's because, like, you know, she's probably doing the same thing. It's like, why isn't that working? And then Kirito's gonna be like, the other hand. It's like, oh, I guarantee you some joke like that's gonna happen, right? Yeah, I, I gotta go visit my comatose girlfriend, Sugu. Sorry, wife. <laughs> you wanna get cucked by a comatose girl? Asuna. Maybe Sugu wants to go there to put an end to Asuna, bro. Sugu's gonna fucking go there and pull the fucking plug. But Kirito only has Sugu. What is the- what is going on here? What are, what are these lab things? Brains. People's brains? The human experimentations. <laughs> That's what Oberon's trying to do, right? They're all players? Shock, pain, pain, please. Oh, the people that he stole! Oh, yeah, 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 because not everyone's able to get out! Where are they all? Like, their physical bodies. Does he, does, does he have all of them in like one specific fucking like building? He just has them all just like fucking hooked up to a chamber and he's just doing experimentations in all of them? God damn, this is actually fucking evil. Worse than Kaiba or what? Is this worse than Kaiba? Well, in Kaiba's game, you fucking die in real life. But Kaiba gave them the freedom to not... You could just chill, you could fish. You could just fucking, you know, go to the cabin. You could, you could just chill. You don't have to climb the tower. Right, she, he did force us into this fucking death game, but he did not force us, right? Oberon is just forcing these people. They have no fucking choice. Oberon, sorry. And, and Kaiba also gave us like a win condition. You know, beat the fucking game and you get out. Ooh. The fuck? Slugs? Slugs? What the fuck? The GMs that's working under fucking, you know, Overrun are like fucking, they take on the shape of these slug like alien things in the game. Fuck school. I've never seen Kirito at school once in my life. Holy shit, he was supposed to start high school last year. So this year he would be sophomore, like grade 11. Right about, and then great, like, one more year, then he'd be senior year. Bro, I just skipped high school just to fucking game the entire time, huh? Yo, this would be kind of cool! A special school for kids, you know, that was stuck in SAO? I don't know, like, is, is this hinting at future season content? I don't, that, that sounds like a, like a cool concept. <laughs> Sounds great. Some psychos? <laughs> Just to moderate us freaks. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. We ain't studying for an entire year. I just fucking raw dog in the past. No Sugu. Is that our worst subjects? Back at the lab. 
The mainframe. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Kirito's not here though. Ain't no way else that can go. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Ain't no shot. She could not even open the fucking menu. Okay, she's making a run for it. There's no shot she's able to escape here, right? There's no shot. Oh, so many new UIs. Oh no! It's a menu screen! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. If you do nothing, the server will automatically log out. Okay. So close! Come on! Wait, I just realized. What the fuck? I just realized. This ain't gushing over magical girls. What's going on with these tentacles, bro? Hotel! Hotel! <laughs> hotel! Hotel! This is awkward. I can't believe she named her fucking name after her actual name. She knew? Sugu knew about Asuna? Asuna's first name? She knew? Was that implying something there? <laughs> this is my comatose grind. I can't believe he's introducing Asuna as like, you know. She is known as the Flash in the game. Captain. The roleplay is insane. I'll introduce you to my fucking wife. <laughs> Level 10 cooking. She was the only one to be able to make a sauce that tasted like soy sauce in Einkrad. It's a big deal, you know. Asuna. Who the fuck are you talking to? That's a vegetable. You think she can hear you? <laughs> nice to meet you! <laughs> the river what we ended up with! The tentacles! The tentacles and then you fucking transition! Hello, nice to meet you! Ass enough tentacle noise, bro! <laughs> Gushing over sword out of line! Oh no! <laughs> Oh god, oh no, oh no. Okay. 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 <laughs> this scene is like oddly sexual for no fucking reason, huh? Like, what is going on? <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> See, stupid shit like this happening is what's very entertaining about part two of SAO so far, bro. <laughs> Sure. I mean, the money's probably good. You think they give a fuck? You think this is better? That they, I mean, I can't really argue with the morality or the ethics of that. Then do it, bro. I bet you won't swap with them. I still can't believe they chose their fucking in-game models to be these fucking tentacle slugs, man. Bzz oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is getting just weird now. This is straight. I can tell why people are like, yo, like, the author decided to do some weird ass shit with part two of season one and start to get some kind of incest vibes and creepy sexual vibes. Like, do you have to do this shit? Do you have. What? Did we have a scene like this in part one? Did we have a scene like this in part one? Um, Kuradil was pretty creepy and he was trying to fucking, you know, do some sussy shit with Asuna. Silica? What about Silica? Well, no, 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 well. The Silica Pina episode, right? The flower thing. Yeah, they did do that. No, they did. They did do that. They, it's, it's exactly the same shit, right? It was a little bit less like less creepy because it was like just like a flower, right? It's not like a yeah, creepy slight be like, oh, you want to be can do something, you know? But God damn, I guess it was all there. A little creepy, huh? It's a, I feel like this is like, do you, is this necessary for the plot? Sometimes I think the author just does shit like this because sex sells. 
right? These kind of like sexual elements, you know, fucking horny kids are watching it. You know, they're they're not really thinking. They're just thinking. <laughs> I want to be the slugs. It's yeah. The bus is really going into the. Su I thought they were gonna do that, bro. Took her like eight goddamn episodes to peek at the password to memorize it. <laughs> he wants to walk her back to savor the moment more, bro. The entire time, Sugo and Kirito was here visiting Asna. Asna was just basically just the star of a fucking hentai show the entire time. That is crazy. Why did the author do Asna this dirty, bro? And yes, don't forget, she has not showered in like a week, at like two years and a half. <laughs> Alabama, that's what your feelings are. Well, that's the thing. She doesn't even know that Kirito is Kazuto. That's the craziest part. She doesn't know. Like, oh. Sugu is getting set up to just get RKO'd out of fucking nowhere. From literally the top rope, she's gonna get fucking suplexed onto the ground head first. This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. When she figures out that Kirito is actually big bro and Asna Kirito the entire time, her fucking online e-boyfriend. I thought I was your Discord kitten! You had another one! <laughs> or do I what? <laughs> do I what? <laughs> Finish your sentence. It's a wrap, bro. Kirito will never look at you like that, Sugu. Sugu, do it. Take what's yours, Sugu. And we're back. Alright, password didn't change. I hope we kill these slugs at the end, dude. Alright. Oh! The card she stole from the 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 the, the cube thing. She, that, that's the thing that she took in the beginning. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna do. Is this just a key card? Is she, is, is she just gonna fucking swipe it? Just swipe the fucking card and the fucking lock is gonna open? Ain't no way that just works like that. It's not a bad end at all. You said that she found like a dirt cheap ass in. Leafa. Link. Sorry. Link start. Hello, Leafa. It's I, Kirito. <laughs> I'm in love with my big brother. <laughs> but you don't even know the. Because that's the thing. This is just part one. She got her heart broken by her big bro. But she doesn't even know this is big bro! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is such a fucking disaster. It's just... <laughs> Why you have to do Sugu this dirty? She's already hitting the back of the head with the fucking steel chair. And it's like she's gonna get double teamed pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, why are you trauma dumping right now? I don't know you. Hey, don't talk to me about your real life. You're breaking the immersion, Leafa. <laughs> Kirito, could you won't leave me? Oh, I... Yeah, why don't you tell your fucking, you know, online boyfriend that? <laughs> She's just gonna get cocked forever and ever and ever! Don't tell me Sugu shows up in season 3, season 2, season 3, season 4. <laughs> she just cucked in the background, bro. And like, if she's even there in those future seasons, like, what if the other girls come back? Like, fucking Silica, fucking Lizbeth, bro. Like, there's just, the harm will just continue to grow, right? And I swear to God, I saw a blonde boy in one of those future season, you know, couple in, in SAOs, bro. There seems to be a little bit of a a, 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 a femboy on femboy action going on. So like, Suku gonna get cucked by another boy too, bro. No, You're not Daijobu, don't lie to me. 
ゆい、いるかハローパパパパ、リーファさん。おはようよいちゃん。ねえ、昨日から気になってくしもう夜は寝もう。What She's doing some fucking devious shit, bro. <laughs> she probably does know how you know how big Kito is, fucking flaccid and hard. The fucking diameter, the fucking radius, you know? The average fucking stroke speed, bro, the velocity, bro, how many RPM strokes per minute, bro, how long? Like he probably she probably knows all that. She she was in the game when we were fucking Asna in the necklace! You remember that episode? She was there! We're pumping! And Yui was there in the necklace! She saw the entire thing! What are we doing today? Alright, oh, World Tree! Right, we're at the World Tree! That's right, what are we doing? <laughs> wait, 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 can you lie about your gender in this game? Like, you know in SAO and uh, Einkrad, you know? G-I-R-L, you know, guy in real life. <laughs> I... Discord kitten, dude. It's, it's, a, it's a Discord kitten, man. Look, look. It's so, she's so cute. You could choose your fucking gender in the beginning. No, I remember when we link started. Start, link start, right? There was like, choose, you know, male, female, and different races, right? You, you, you could, right? I guess Ju means tree in Jap Japanese. Sekai Ju. World tree. The elf. Fairies of light. That's right. You get to like change races and become like a infinite stamina flying thing. I just realized something. Remember a couple episodes ago when Kirito turned into Gleam Eyes? Remember the bridge we were crossing to enter a certain city? We got there and we're like, oh, detour side quest and we left that city. What happened to that city? Why were we there? Why are we here? This is not that city, right? I'm... Why did we ever need to go there? And then we left and now we're in a completely different city. It, 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 is it a necessary city to go through it? It was it on the way. It's, it's just part of the place. We had to. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like. I swear to God, if it was a fucking random city that didn't matter and we just fucking had a random fight there just for fucking fun and it's like it never mattered, I was like, what the fuck? That's right, like rocket launchers, rocket boosters, right? You get like fucking 20 people, fucking one by one, they fall off. Oh, they patched it? You're not longer allowed to do it anymore? The barrier. That's a hilarious exploit. I would totally try that. I think the episode's about to end pretty soon. All right, center of the world, center district. Surely nothing is gonna distract us, right? Oh, oh, Yui. God damn it, Yui! What is it? Mama. Yui. Asa. Okay, it's up. It's above. It's above. That's right. Right above. Oh, this soundtrack is so good. You can't just fly, bro. What do you mean? You'll never make it there. What's 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 he gonna do? Fucking go all the way up, get hit by the fucking barrier, bonk, and then get down? <laughs> all right, and that is the episode. Today's episode was weird. I mean, creepy, right? Oddly sexual, not oddly, very very sexual. Tentacles, wriggling tentacle sounds, toes, fucking tentacles almost entering Asna's mouth. This was like what the fuck. This was like, what the fuck? And then Sugu getting cut. Like, the entire scene this is happening. Sugu was there contemplating. Should I put a pillow on this bitch so I can take my big brother? But that's the thing. She doesn't even know. 
she doesn't even know that Kirito is the big brother, right? She sees outside that Kazuto is in love with Asuna. And the first name thing, it's the same thing, right? And like, did Kirito say Asuna here? I'm not really sure. This, this, this player ID is Mamas, right? I should have paid attention here, right? Leave for me some very um, interesting faces. Could you imagine if Yui said, because like, if Yui mentioned Asuna is here, then it would have fucking totally spoiled it for Su Sugo, right? But like, Sugo is almost there. Like, she's very close to realizing that shit. My fucking Discord boyfriend actually is my older bro who's in love with this comatose girl and I'm getting cucked again. This is <sighs> getting weird. And you're saying that it's not that sexual compared to gushing for magical girls? I agree, but that's not the point. It's not about the sexual content that's pro that's shown, but rather like the intent behind it. When I'm watching gushing for magical girls, I don't really feel like a creepy guilt, right? This is like creepy guilt. This is just like weird ass shit. Gushing for magical girls, there's a lot of loot scenes happening, but I've never once felt like these girls are getting, they are getting preyed upon by Utena, but it's like a totally different vibe, right? Totally different vibe. So I can kind of tell why a lot of people criticize, you know, in the second half of part one. Honestly, I'm just fucking shitting on it. And I hope you guys are enjoying my <laughs> roast session. That is, <laughs> that is this, this fucking reaction. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.